Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to review this, the ASICS Metaspeed Sky Paris. I'm making this video because I bought the original Metaspeed Sky and Metaspeed Edge. This is the Edge, this is the Sky. And then I bought the Metaspeed Sky Plus. I loved all of them. When ASICS announced their new Super Shoe Dynamic Duo, the Metaspeed Paris series, I was wondering which one to buy, whether I would buy the Edge Paris or the Sky Paris. I ended up buying the Sky Paris and I made a separate video all about why I bought this shoe rather than its Edge variant. And uh, in this video, I'm just gonna review this shoe and there'll be a link to the video about why I bought this one rather than the Edge at the end. As always, there are chapter markers down below so you can skip on through to the bits you might be interested in. Let's get going. The shoe hasn't been here very long, but I've done, I did 35 minutes earlier today with some sprints in it. I ran up and down on a side in a variety of one shoe on one foot and one on the other, and then running up and down with the coming in and changing in and out. And I'm going to do a lot more testing, particularly this shoe against this, the Vaporfly 3. And that's what I'm really trying to go at the bottom of in subsequent testing. Let's put the shoes on the turntable and look at their specifications. ASICs say that the shoe weighs 183 grams, 6.46 ounces. This shoe is a US 13, EU 48, CM 30.5, UK 12, BR 46, CN 305, in brackets 2.5. In this size, it weighs in the left shoe 233 grams, 8.22 ounces. The right shoe 228 grams, 8.04 ounces. It has a 39.5 millimeter stack height. It has a five millimeter drop. ASICs say this, the Metaspeed Sky Paris racing shoes are designed for stride style runners who are looking to start fast and finish faster. Runners wearing these shoes will be able to increase their step by lengthening their strides while conserving energy with each step. The Metaspeed Sky Paris shoe is our most advanced, lightweight and high performance ride yet. It's been designed to help increase vertical propulsion and extend stride length to help you reach a new personal best. Let's review the shoe and see if what ASICs says is true. Let's have a look at the upper. One of the things is earlier on I had uh, the shoe with a with a, an insert in, so it, it seemed more stupid. The upper, first of all, it looks very lumpen, and uh, we'll stick the light in it. And um, not that the lumpenness matters really particularly once you, I mean, you're running in a shoe, who cares whether it's lumpy looking? But uh, yeah, you can see the light, you get an idea of, of um, the light going through the shoe. And again, I'll stick a camera in the inside in the shoe and you can get an idea of uh, the ventilation, which is pretty good. I do like the upper in the shoe and I've liked the previous versions. It's got a magnificently thin tongue with ventilation in it, fairly similar to the others. The laces this time around are the same as last time around. The first time around they were like string, they were, God, they were terrible on the, on the original Sky and the original Edge there. They're terrible. I mean, they work, but they're 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 always getting they were always getting knotted for me. These they're like the Alpha Fly laces, uh, the little ridges on the edges, really nice. I notice in this particular version they're shorter than the on the Sky Plus. I'm guessing that's a weight saving thing. They're just uh, they're just to the width. If they were any shorter, they'd be nearly unusable. But they're just about they're just, I prefer them a bit longer. But they're they're fine. And again, I really love the ventilated tongue. It's really thin. It's passed through here. There are eyelets at the top for if you like the heel lock. The heel itself is fine. There's a bit of structure. There's lots of ventilation. You can kind of see a sort of lumpen look. It feels uh, it feels just like all the others. It feels plasticky, but it's a very comfortable upper when it's on. I did think that it was a bit tighter here than on previous versions. It was fine, but perhaps that's something to do. I think the weight saving. I think we'll talk about the uh, outsole and midsole in a second. But I think that's where they might have saved. Uh, shaved it in a little bit to save some weight. I like ASICS's foam, the FF Turbo Plus. I find it nice and cushioned. You can feel the plate here, you can see it, and the, the, the foam swells to meet it. It's a wider plate than it is in the uh, Edge Paris. The outsole, you can see where there's a little gap here where there, previously the outsole covered that, and I think it still does in the Edge. I typically wear the shoe here and here, so it's fine for me to save a little bit of weight. It's just an indication more of ASICS's continued attempt to save weight in this particular shoe, which they've succeeded at. ASICS are to be congratulated in reducing the weight of the shoe. It really is impressive. This is 228 grams, 8.04 ounces. That's just three grams heavier than my original much lower stack edge. 
that's that that is a, a a real achievement and it's a significant saving over the sky plus which is 249 grams 8.40 ounces i think a lot of it is the shaping of the contact patch which is narrow i'll go through that in the next bit in size but yeah they've saved a considerable amount of weight in this shoe i mentioned the stack and the drop there's a five millimeter drop 39.5 to 34.5 in this the sky paris and the sky edge the uh, previous edge plus had an eight millimeter drop 33 mil to 25 and the sky plus was a five millimeter drop from 33 millimeters to 28 millimeters so the weight's gone up but the size has gone down i've done that somehow in a narrower contact patch at the front it's 110 millimeters versus 115 millimeters for the previous version and 60 versus 65 in the previous one so they've sculpted wasted the uh, they've made it narrower here and, and narrower here and yeah, I think it's uh, worked really well in this particular shoe to reduce the overall weight, which will increase the overall performance. I really like the design of all the Metaspeeds. They're fairly conventional, no bumps, no funny cutouts, no odd things going on. The In this particular Sky Plus, there's a sort of concentration on a swelling of the forefoot. But in this particular one, the uh, Sky Paris, you can feel it, you can see it's more straight going back here and a little bit of a rounded, more rounded and certainly higher foam at the back of the shoe. I've loved the colorways in all of the Metaspeeds. The visual pop is amazing in the launch editions. This is Sunrise Red and Black. It's called Sunrise Red, but it is very orangey. In reality, it came, uh, I was surprised when I got it out. I was, all the pictures, it looked much darker than it does in reality. It looks really, orangey and i love the visual pop i think it's really good they have one color for when you're looking to see asic shoes in a race you can you can spot the meta speeds immediately i think they do that once i think it was the olympics came out and they had one of the various versions you could see them immediately whereas nike had a, had all sorts of different variations you couldn't pick them out very easily and that's something that i'd be trying to do but i think from a marketing point of view it was really good it might be why nike has really for marathon season just got one color if you can even get them of the off fly threes in that yellow and blue but yeah i i love the visual pop of these in the previous versions, more more colorways came out along the way and it was a really interesting one in the sky plus and the edge plus i'll show them here there was a kind of reverse i think one bled blue towards uh blue was it blue to green and the other green to blue or anyway they, they that was kind of interesting but and, and a very good way of telling those particular shoes to get out but yeah in the initial launch colors this has some great visual pop in terms of sustainability asics talk about the sock liner being produced with solution dyeing process which reduces water wastage or water usage by 33 percent and they talk about different dyeing technology and the 50 percent upper material is recycled so they're, they're trying to do things they're making small steps along the way and just like all other manufacturers are to be congratulated for that putting the shoe on is really easy it's always been the easiest of the super shoes to put on it just opens up nice and wide laces up these laces are a bit short for me but yeah it's a really easy no nonsense shoe to put on i ran in various combinations of these shoes to test the sky and the edge they feel very different the stack height and the drop really tells between the two shoes then around the sky plus versus the sky and you could really feel the, the foam there's more foam in the sky plus than the sky and then the paris versus the sky plus and where you really feel it i could feel it initially i felt it inside here i felt this was a little bit more firm it might be the plate but the next thing i felt and, and certainly felt out on the run today was um, the more foam in the uh, heel i definitely felt more of that and for me the running feel has improved in the sky paris versus sky plus the grip and traction is fairly typical of a marathon shoe i nearly broke my neck in these a couple of weeks ago i've cleaned them up for this but i nearly broke my neck came back from running a half marathon in snow where i didn't slip at all and went out running and, and on, a, on a little bit of mud uh, but yeah in a straight line and in typical marathon conditions the grip in the shoe is fine all my Metaspeeds wear the same. These are the skies, and you can see there's almost no wear up here. There's none on the upper, no wear whatsoever. I typically take a shoe to 200K to try and keep them fresh when I'm making comparisons. There's a 200K, 125 miles. You can see it's worn here, but they wear here really quickly, and then they seem to stop wearing. So there's plenty, probably plenty of life left in the shoe, and I just use them for comparisons. This has got 135 kilometers, 85 miles. I'm still running in this shoe. I mean, I really do like this shoe and I, I love the visual appeal of it, but it's a bit worn here. But again, that, that happens fairly quickly and then sort of 
dies away. And I expect the same wear characteristics in the new shoe. The shoe costs 250 euro, 250 US dollars. I couldn't find it in the UK, possibly 225 pounds, which is what the last one cost, 330 Australian dollars. And at 250, it's really on the money for super shoes. But what is interesting is it hasn't increased across the three versions. So chapeau to ASICS for at least keeping the price the same as the previous one. The shoes went on sale on March 4th. Very easy to get in any number of sizes. I noticed the Sky, so it's the Sky Paris sold out quicker than the Sky Edge, but there might have been different numbers. Certainly in my size, they sold out, out quicker. They were both sold out within a week in my size, but there was plenty available and I expect plenty more. In terms of the use case, well, it's a marathon. This is really a marathon shoe. As I said, in the earlier versions of, of the Edge, I would use those for a shorter distance. It is nice, they've lost weight. But yeah, these are marathon shoes. And again, I downstream them to training. In terms of comparisons, as I mentioned before, the Vaporfly 3 is the one I really want to compare to that I got a longer stride out of. It's not all just a shoe, I know that. But that is something that I will look forward to doing a more detailed comparison of in the coming weeks. Should you buy this shoe? Well, first you're gonna to have to pick between the Sky Paris and the Sky Edge. We've gone through all that. And if the Sky Paris is your choice, well, there are significant differences between the Sky Paris and the Sky Plus. And for me particularly, it's the added foaming around the heel felt much better on the run. And I really do like the feeling that I'm not sagging back as much. That's a significant increase for me. The other thing is that that small weight loss might just add up and yep, Team Sky, marginal gains. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you'd hit the like button. As always, you've got some stuff in the description below and I'll happily answer any questions you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there. It's the right videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.